If you want a t-shirt business starter kit that shows you step by step how to launch your own Christian t-shirt business online, just like this one, stay to the end of this video because by the end of this video, you are going to have my exact t-shirt business starter kit that one of my students took and launched her very own t-shirt business within one month of learning this formula. Hey hon, it's your girl Stephanie Rodness, founder and CEO of Godwood Girl and creator of the Godwood Girl School of Business. And I'm super excited to bring you to part two of my four part launcher t-shirt business series. Now if you missed video number one, it was all about the launcher t-shirt business plan PDF, which shows you step by step a PDF business plan. So make sure you check that video out. Now this video is all about my launch your business starter kit, launch your t-shirt business starter kit. And I'm really excited to share this formula with you because it's going to show you step by step how to launch your very own t-shirt business online. Now, if you're not already subscribed to the Gotta Grow YouTube channel, sis, my goal with this channel is for it to be the number one resource for every woman of faith who wants to live her greatest purpose for Christ. So if that's you, make sure you hit that subscription button, turn on the notification bell. Now grab your pen and paper, get ready because you are about to learn all about my t-shirt business starter kit. The first thing in your t-shirt business starter kit has got to be the purpose of your t-shirt business. There are so many t-shirt businesses online right now and the competition is fierce. So you have to stand out from among everybody else. And the only way you can do that is through the purpose of your t-shirts. So at God the Girl, the purpose of my t-shirts is to empower women of faith to remember that they can live God's greatest purpose for their lives. So that every single time if a woman of faith is like having a bad day or somebody calls her out her name, she can look down and look at her t-shirt and remind herself of who God made her to be. That's the purpose of my t-shirts. And that's what makes me stand out from the billions of other Christian t-shirt businesses out there. So first thing in your kit, you got to know exactly what the purpose of your t-shirt business is. Step number two in your kit has got to be your product research. You don't want to go out and duplicate what's already on the market. You want to find a hole in the market, a niche that you can fill, a little spot that's going to be kind of your flavor, yours to be able to run in. One of the niches that I found that hadn't really been filled yet were Christian t-shirts for Christian entrepreneurs. And I was like, ooh, snap, that would be a good one. And this, this Purposepreneur sweatshirt is actually one of the best-selling t-shirts that I have here at Godwood Girl. So do your product research and find out what already exists and what hole that you can fill in your market. To search for other t-shirt businesses, just type in Christian t-shirts on Google and you're gonna find a bunch of different t-shirts online that are already being sold. You can also go to Pinterest and type in Christian t-shirts to see what other products are out there. The third part of your launcher t-shirt business starter kit is market research. Now that you know the purpose of your t-shirt business, now that you know what product research is already out there, the third step is to find out what your audience wants from your t-shirts. It's important to know what your tribe wants because your tribe is going to be the one buying these shirts. For example, at God the Girl, my tribe loves pink, black, white, and gray. <laughs> now, if I went and I was like, okay, there are no blue shirts and I just started producing blue shirts, my tribe is going to be like, what is going on? You are not fitting what we like from your products. So you got to ask your market what they want. What are they looking for in t-shirts? Do they want sweatshirts? Do they want sweaters? Do they want regular scoop necks? Do they want v-necks? Do they want long sleeve? Do they want short sleeve? Do they want no sleeves? You can ask your audience what kind of shirts that they want and that way you design a t-shirt line that your tribe responds to. Item number four in your t-shirt business starter kit is your brand board. A brand board is basically like a vision board, right? It's just a bunch of images and styles and font types and, and things like that and colors that reflect what you want your t-shirt line to look like. You want to make sure you put this together based off of the market research that your audience gave you so that you're creating a product line that has a real identity and that serves the market that you want to serve. I got the wood girl. My brand board is very pink. It's very girly. It's very pretty because that's just the brand that I created and that's the brand that my tribe has gotten used to. So create your brand board based off of that market research so you know exactly the essence of what your t-shirt business is going to look like. Item number five in your t-shirt business starter kit is 
Well, your product design. Now that you know you got your brand board, now that you've done your market research, now that you know what hole in the market you're filling, now that you know the purpose of your business, it's time to design your first t-shirt line. When you do this, I don't recommend designing too many shirts because your audience will get overwhelmed with too many options. I actually recommend starting out with four staple shirts and then adding a shirt every couple of months or so as kind of like a new release in your collection. Trust me, I've been there. I've released like 12, 13 shirts before and the girls were so overwhelmed by so many options, they bought nothing. But when I reduced the amount of shirts that I released, I, I reduced it to about four, my t-shirt sales picked up like crazy. So I would really recommend starting with four solid t-shirts. And if you don't want to design them yourself, that's fine. You can hire a designer on fiber.com, upwork.com, 99designs.com, or you can just put up an ad for a graphic designer and have them design it for you. If you do this, make sure you give them your brand board, okay? Make sure you let them know the purpose of your business, give them that market research, so that they have a great visual representation of what you envision for your t-shirt line. If you wanna design your own t-shirt line, that's great, that's what I do. You can use amazing resources like canva.com or pickbaby.com, or Photoshop even, and you can design your own t-shirts. Item number six in your t-shirt business starter kit is, well, your printer research. Who's gonna print your shirts? Who's gonna manufacture them? Who's gonna ship them? Who's gonna take care of customer support if somebody wants to return them? I use a print demand, print on demand service called printful.com, but there are so many different options out there. There's Teespring, there's T-Launch, there's so many different ones. There's Printify, um, and the list goes on and on. So do your research and actually send your print to all four or five or six printers that you do your research, you like their turnaround time, you like their prices, send your print to all of them, have them all ship you a shirt, and then you can compare apples to apples to apples. You can see if you like the quality of the shirt, if you like the way that they package it, if you like the smell. Like some t-shirt printers, I notice when you order from them, you get like a very strong ink smell and you have to wash the shirt first. And some printers, they come and they're perfect and you can just wear them and go right away. So do your research, find out which printer serves you the way that you want to and select your printer. And finally, step number seven in your t-shirt business starter kit is your launch plan. Let me tell you, as entrepreneurs, one of the biggest mistakes that we make is we release new products to the world and we don't tell anybody that we did it. <laughs> make sure you have your launch plan ready before you complete your t-shirt line. You wanna have people waiting to get your shirt. You wanna have buzz surrounding your shirt. You wanna have people being like, oh my gosh, where's that shirt? When can I get it? I can't wait to wear it. You can do things like promos on Instagram, wearing your shirt, teasing your shirt, doing giveaways of your shirt, things like that, so that people know that your shirt is coming. Create your launch plan. And if you don't yet know how to create your launch plan, make sure you watch out for my fourth video in this series. It's gonna teach you how to market your t-shirt line on Instagram. Now, I hope you enjoyed that step-by-step -step demonstration of my t-shirt business starter kit. But let me ask you, do you dream of launching your own t-shirt business the way that God purposed you to do it, but you're not sure where to start? Sis, I completely understand. When I first wanted to launch my own t-shirt business, I actually went to local printers in my area and they were so expensive and they required hundreds of dollars worth of minimums and inventory for me to be able to work with them. So I was like, uh, that's not gonna work. So I decided maybe I'll try printing my own shirts. But let me tell you, having all of that stuff in your house is awful. And I was like, I can't do this, there's no way. So I did research online and I found out about print on demand. And I realized that there's literally a way to be able to print shirts one at a time, only when people market them. And you're able to actually have your t-shirt business out and launch to the world. So now Guy the Girls t-shirt line is here and I wanna teach you how to do the exact same thing in your business. I have a brand new masterclass called the Launch Your T-Shirt Business Masterclass where I walk you step by step through launching your very own t-shirt business the way that God purposed you to do it. Here are the details right now. You're gonna learn how to start your online t-shirt business, how to design your shirts, how to manufacture your shirts, how to find your printer, how to sell your shirts online, how to market your shirts. Um, in addition, you're also gonna get a digital copy of it so you'll have it forever. You're gonna have the Launch Your T-Shirt Business checklist um, to keep you on track, and you're gonna get the Launch Your T-Shirt Business workbook that I just showed you. And as a bonus for signing up, you also get the Purposepreneur sweatshirt that I offer here at God the Wood Girl. It's such a cool sweatshirt. I love wearing this bad boy. Um, and you can grab your copy or your, grab your copy of the masterclass by clicking the link in the description box of this video.
So love, if you like this video, hit that like button below and share this video with at least one woman of Christ who you know wants to launch her own t-shirt business. And if you're ready to live God's purpose for your life, comment below with the words, I am purpose so that I can connect with you on this journey. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. Be on the lookout for our next video coming up, which is going to teach you all about profits in your t-shirt business. And if you're not yet already subscribed to the God to Go YouTube channel, hit that subscription button. My goal with the Gotta Go YouTube channel is to empower at least 5 million women of faith with the resources they need to live God's greatest purpose for their life. So if that's you, hit that subscription button and God willing, I'll see you on the next video. Hey, go, go, go.